If you are a provider who is planning to use ModMed or who is using ModMed, this video is for you. After watching this ModMed tutorial series, you will be able to work on ModMed very efficiently. I have experience of 10 years in the billing industry and in the end of this video, I will reveal my professional tip and secret that will help you run your practice more profitably and more efficiently. In our previous video, we discussed about adding charges adding procedure code, adding DX and modifier and other things to the claim. In this video, we will discuss about claim filing in ModMed, corrected claim filing and attaching medical records to the patient's account in ModMed. Let us start with our first section. Let us first open the patient's account. This is a patient home account. Now we need to open the claim that need to be filed out or we need to open the bill that need to be filed out. In our previous video, we have discussed about how to create the bill. You can watch that video and um, now we have opened the ledger here. Now we are opening the bill that we have created in our previous video. Now this is the bill that we have created previously. We have discussed about the procedure code, modifier, DX code, how we can add them, how we can add the box 19 in the previous video. Now we are going to see what other fields we can add before filing the claim out okay now coming below if you see here hi outsource your billing to me and see the difference in your profits we handle it all for only three percent of the collection call us today there is patient financials okay in this section we can see the primary insurance here is bcbs medicare okay now the bcbs policy id is this bcbs bcbs policy type is this this is the relationship to the policy holder this is the authorization number we can add the authorization number from here for example uh, this was the authorization that was already created by me in this account so i can link that authorization number or the referral number to this account by selecting that from here and then clicking link it will be updated over here also we can remove the authorization number if you want to from here okay we will just click remove and the authorization number will be removed from here okay now this is the payer fee schedule we will leave it blank as default this is the accept assignment this is always yes this is the insurance balance this is the payer id the electronic payer id of the bcbs medicare okay now this is very important here that is the claims status okay this this current claim is right now showing inactive warded because we tried to build that before but if we try to build that again it will come to patch for sending Okay. I will discuss all these details later. Okay. Now the next section is here is additional information. When following the bill to worker compensation or auto, keep in mind that they will go to the insurance with a different setup on paper than the medical insurance claim. In the claim, you need to add the date of injury, date of illness, date of accident, employer's information, adjuster information, employer's address, body part which was injured, how long the patient didn't return to the work, each should be noted in your patient's account. Also, when you're filing a CMS 1500 claim form for working compensation and auto insurance, you need to select others in box 1. For adding the employer's name in the CMS 1500 claim form, use box 4 and box 7 to add the employer's address. And also, use the box 10A to 10C to indicate what type of claim it was. Was it access? Accident claim was it the auto claim or was it a work account claim? You can indicate in box 10A to 10C. Now the next section is here is additional information. This section is important if you are filing the claim to worker compensation, auto accident, or other accident related claim. Okay, so what we can do here, we can add the chart notes. If there is any attached, it will show here. If you have attached any chart notes, it will show here. You can select that and link to this account, or you can add the visit note if they are already uploaded you can select it from here and you can add it you can add the attachment over here you can drop the attachment maybe there are medical records or something you can attach that to the claim from over here and then done when the attachment is attached to the account it will show over here it will show here added on the date it was added what was the report type okay it will show over here 
Meaning today we have evolved into KPIs and performing measurement metrics where we have to have good builders with the knowledge of numbers and analytics. Also, we need builders to run reports on daily basis, analyze them and follow up on those claims. This can be difficult if you are a small practice. Also, to us for only 3% of the collection and get the best service. Now the next section here is date of print illness, injury or pregnancy. We can choose a qualifier over here. For example, if we want to add the date of injury or something, we can add from here and we can put the date over here. Now this is the condition codes that we can add from over here okay you can see all the condition codes and then you can put the date over here for that condition now if the claim is related to the worker comp we will select your employment related okay if the claim is related to auto accident we will select it over here and we will select the state in which the accident happened okay now if there is other accident related we can click over here now this is link appointment if you want to link any appointment to this claim you can just click link and select the appointment that you have created before and then you can just select it and link that over here okay if you want to link the code you can link it over here if you have added it already it will show here and then you can click the link okay now we have added all the information that was in the claim now we can release the claim okay now hit post and create claim okay this pop-up will open up from here we can choose the pair which we are billing okay we can choose uh, if you want to send it electronic or paper is it a new claim is it a voided claim cancel claim or is it a replacement or a corrected claim okay you can choose it from here if we choose okay i will come that i will discuss with the corrected claim later okay for now we will choose new as this is the original claim or a fresh claim now this is the handling okay this is create and hold if you want to create the claim and you want to hold it for the review we can uh, do create and hold if you want to submit to the insurance we can put submit to queue okay so now we hit submit to queue okay now before moving further with our tutorial let's talk about claim form type we usually deal with two kind of claim forms one is cms 1500 claim form one is cms 1450 which is also known as ub04 claim form cms 1500 claim form is a professional billing claim form and ub04 or cms 1450 is an institutional claims form cms 1500 claim form enable professionals and physicians to submit health insurance claim to insurance for reimbursement if a physician has a private practice and took the service in the hospital or the institutional setting then they have to file cms 1500 claims form ub04 claim form is used by the institutional setting or institutional facilities such as hospitals or outpatient facilities this would include things like surgery and radiology laboratory or other facility services for simplicity we are not discussing about the dental claim form let us continue with our tutorial now uh, we can either include the zero dollar services or we can not include okay but i always choose include the zero dollar services now this is very important that you have to always check the claim before it is filed out okay or you can check that you can hit the preview in the preview button from here you can download the claim form and check if the claim is filled correctly if any field is not filled correctly we can do the corrections before filing the claims let us check our claim form okay billing claim may be the last step in filing the claim but it is the most important step in terms of controlling rejections and increasing clean claims you need to check your data you have entered in the claim before sending the claim out now this is the claim form that has been filled by us now we can check all the information from here we have marked it as a corrected claim so it is showing here as a corrected claim in additional information just ignore the box 19 here which is saying corrected claim this is a fresh claim so we will talk about the corrected claim later okay so we can check the claim image if any field is not showing correctly you can go back in the claims and you can edit the claim okay before submitting the claim to the insurance let's get back to the claim now we have already checked the claims image everything seems correct the next step we can do is hit post create claim or post create claim and close the difference between both option only is that after creating the claim this option will close the claim but this will not okay so we don't want to close the account here so we will hit 
post create claim okay now the claim is created turn on time to file our claim should be as low as possible it should not be more than 48 hours it will impact your average days in payment and cash flow we provide medical billing service we do overnight claim submission means if you do a service today and you go to your bed the claim is filed and the next day when you come the claim is already filed we take only 10 hours to file our claim which is best in class and industry reading how that is possible try our billing service and see for yourself now the claim is created if you see the top ribbon in green it is showing the claim number it will just show you the claim number a glimpse of like one second okay then you can find the claim number below okay let me show you you can see here uh, this claim is batch for sending as i told you this is a status of the claim what is happening to the claim right now in which stated it what is happening to the claim and what is the status of the claim right now it will always indicate over here okay right now this is showing this is the claim number that is our internal pms claim number that is generated this is a unique claim number that is given to by the modmad this claim number is very important because when you are trying to search the claim in modmad this claim number will be used to search the claim in modmad i will discuss that in my next video you can see here one more thing that the claim submission date is showing not submitted means the claim is batch for sending it will send out to the insurance in the end of the day together with all other claims but right now it is not submitted okay you can see here as this claim was sent electronically there was no claim addresses showing over here if the claim was sent on paper it will be showing here as a claim okay now let us discuss about how we can send a corrected claim to the insurance for example if we have changed some modifier over here for example we have added 59 modifier over here okay after doing correction to the modifier now we need to submit the claim so in our previous video we discussed about the box 19 and we have to mark the box as corrected claim we have to write in box 19 it is a corrected claim please see my previous video for how to updating the box 19 now after updating the box 19 we will hit post create claim okay now we will check our pair it is bcbs and we have to submit electronically now when we are sending a corrected claim the claim tab will go to the replacement claim and now when we are uh, now when we are sending a corrected claim we have to mention the original claim number over here and now we will hit post and create claim now the corrected claim is sent out now after sending the corrected claim we can also go to the clearing house this is the clearing house tab you can just click here it will get to your clearing house page in that page you can log into your clearing house to check the rejection or payments it's just a link okay now if you want to attach the medical records are you looking for a professional billing agency at the lowest price possible you are at the right place we are professional in handling claims Call us today and get your medical billing done for only 3% of the collection. If you are all set with your billing, why not help your friend who need a good billing agency or maybe struggling with the aging claims or maybe want to lower the billing cost. By mentioning about us and our pricing, you can help your friend immensely. Our friend in need is a friend indeed. Now if you want to attach the medical records, you can add the medical records or attachment from here to the claim. Okay. But if you want to add the medical records to the patient's account, not to this bill, then let us go to the patient account. Okay. Now we are in the patient's homepage account. From here, we will click manage attachments. In manage attachments, it will show you all the attachments over here which are already added to the patient's account right now we have not added any attachment over here so it is not showing any attachment how you can upload attachment let me tell you okay just click here upload a file now it will come to this window from here you can attach your file okay after uploading the file you can hit done uploading now the file is uploaded here uh, it is showing down here okay if you click here show images it will show you the images of the file Example, it is showing here classroom training as an image okay this is the specification and details of our attachment that we can add over here for example we can choose the category 
uh, the type of document that you are adding into the mod pad. Uh, all type of documents, for example, consent form, demographic ID, everything, results, lab results, intake form can be added over here. Okay, do choose this category because this will help you sort out the documents when you are searching the documents in mod pad. Uh, what kind of uh, thing this is? Okay, maybe this is an ERA or EOB. We can click here ERA EOB. Now this is a perform date that you can you know add to this account and this is a plan you can choose from here body location test or title uh, this is the title of the attachment for example this is the medical record attachment we can write it over here this is the medical record attachment then we will hit save after attaching the attachment it will show you this page from here you can see this is the file the name this is the title of the attachment this is the category of attachment this is visit body location plan diagnosis interpretation of the attachment added on this is how you add attachment to the patient's account modment is simple and great on features having a medical records management system today is must for all practices but you can simply upload this medical records to modmed in patient's account modmed don't require separate medical record handling system if you are a small practice owner this is all for today in our next video we will discuss about how to search uh, attachment or medical records in the patient's account and how to check the claims history also we will discuss about the claim status and claim action in mod med okay now time to discuss my professional tip measuring the performance of your billing is the first step in knowing how your practice is doing number always speak for themselves if you can measure the kpis then the next step is to do improvement on the kpis we do this every month for our clients and keep them within a good benchmarking range. I hope this professional tip will help you improve your billing. If you want to outsource to us, we take only 3% of the net collection. I have three awesome services that will help you in claims billing and follow up. First service is to outsource your billing for only 3% of the collection. Second service is we will follow up on your denied aging claims for only 60 cents per claim and you don't need to outsource your billing. Third services per hour basis, you can hire our employee for only $4 per hour for the minimum of two hours a day it means for $8 a day, my AR and billing team is yours. And the best part of a service is no contracts required, no obligation. If you are satisfied, then only pay. No hidden cost whatsoever. We do overnight claim submission means you are doing the service today and the claim will go out in the same night. If you feel my content is relevant to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and to get the updates on billing, please hit the bell icon so you can get the updates. Also share this video to one of your friends who can use the billing updates. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.